the worst thing you can say to someone is, the worst thing is you could finish their sentence. That's so frustrating mm. if someone does it. The worst thing you can say is breathe or slow down. It's not about that. I feel like my stutter was more under control by the time I was about 14. Um, it still comes back and flares if I'm really tired or when I was pregnant, it was really, really prominent again. Um, is that because the, is that because the No reasons? space, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, no diaphragm movement. And it runs very prominently in my family. Oh, it does. So I had um, an, an uncle, cousin, grandfather who started yeah it, and I didn't realize that it was a hereditary genetic thing I didn't think about it until I started working with this or organization in New York called the American Inst Institute of Stuttering and they're fantastic and they've got this revolutionary way of treating people and giving people the confidence and because it's a real problem for a lot of people it's not just kids that you have adults into their 40s and 50s who haven't been able to get the jobs that they deserve because you're sort of misrepresented by how yeah. you speak and it's nothing to do with an anxiety disorder or a nervous dis disposition it's nothing like that it's just a kind of brain synapse thing that happens to people who are genetically predisposed to have it. And, and it is it is a very misunderstood yeah. affliction. And people tease it you, still. Yeah. It's like very bullied. It's like that was the worst is having it at like 12, 13. You're like, come on, man. <laughs> right. It's just so weird. And so I used to find, I used to do a lot of funny voices and funny accents because um, I could speak more fluently if I didn't sound like me. How did you get through it? How did you? My mum was amazing and my dad too, but you know, mum's full on into that, um, all the therapy and she got me, I did cranial osteopathy, relaxation things and some speech therapy. And, and then I had this fantastic teacher when I was 12 and he asked me to be in the class play and I was like, <laughs> like that. And he was like, well, I think you should do it. And this is kind of remarkable for somebody who's not a stutterer that he had this instinct. It was so special. And he said, I think you are funny and you should do it. And have you ever thought about doing it in a different voice? Because I've heard you doing your impersonations of people and doing so, why don't you do it in a silly voice? And so I did the play in a stupid voice and spoke fluently.